So we're gonna start harvest it in about a week and I'm out gathering some ears from uh, four different fields of the early varieties just to see uh, uh, what they're testing at moisture wise. And so uh, I'm gathering three ears from each field in different parts of the fields and uh, gonna do some averaging of the moisture and just see which field is uh, gonna go next or first in uh, harvest. So let's see how that turns out. Okay, so what I have here are the four fields that I'm checking for the moisture. I got three ears out of each field, different areas of the field. And I'm going to use the hand sheller here to um, shell them into the bucket and then use the tester to test that. And if I can keep the cat out of the way, it'll be a good deal. But let's talk about some things I'm noticing with this um, these ears of corn. There's some damage here, uh, mold damage, that's probably going to be a problem if we let it go too long. Kitty, move. And I don't know if you can see, this one feels not too bad. So we're doing that. And then this is the this, is, this one's been the best, and this is the earliest, this field here. So, Kitty, you're going to have to go. Kitty, quit. Okay, this is the uh, first field of corn. It was the earliest variety, so I'm going to test it first. And let's, we'll do three of the readings. Moisture test readings. Twenty six point three, twenty seven, twenty six point three. I'm done doing the moisture testing for each of the ears in each field, so let's look at what we got. The first field we planted and has the earliest number, it has 26.5. The next field we did was the next day and it is 25.8. And here's this other field, the Ford Farm is 28.72, sorry, for 28.2. And this field here is 28.4. There's not a whole lot of difference in these fields, but it just gives us a benchmark where we're gonna go next when we start harvesting next week. So, and it's been really hot today, next couple days it's in the 90s, so it's, uh, it's gonna dry down some more. I notice on this ear right here, you can tell that's the one that had the mold damage and um, the whole ear pretty much had it. So we're gonna have to watch for that when we're harvesting and uh, take a look see what uh, we're gonna do with that but the best thing usually with that is to get that out early because each when you let that go the mold just keeps getting worse and, and grows more so you got to get the, that, those fields out that have that mold damage so that's it for the moisture testing <laughs>